What's up guys, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have a product that you have probably never heard of. The Glock 19. Just kidding. Obviously you all know the Glock 19. We've done a million videos with them. It's probably the most common handgun in the country, but this Glock 19 is special. And you can probably tell by looking at it that it is not a regular Glock. And that is what's gonna make this video interesting. So when you shoot firearms, especially a handgun, there's this thing called recoil. And generally speaking, the bigger the bullet, the more recoil the firearm will have. Nine millimeter is towards the bottom of that spectrum. It is very comfortable to shoot and does not have a ton of recoil, which is why it's one of the most popular calibers in the world. But it is not completely recoil free, especially in self-defense, but even in competition shooting, you wanna reduce recoil as much as you can to increase speed on follow-up shots. The more your gun moves, the longer it takes to reset your sights and get back on target, which obviously will slow down your follow-up shots. And that is where this comes in. So this is my Gen 5 Glock 19 with the Radian Ramjet barrel and the afterburner compensator. This is a combo that apparently reduces recoil by up to 44%. And a nine millimeter pistol, that is significant. The way this thing works is there are two ports on top that redirect gases upward, which help counteract the muzzle rise you get during recoil. Most comps will not completely eliminate recoil, but some of them do come pretty dang close. The AK-74 brake comes to mind. That one is extremely effective. Never tried this, but I've heard really good things and I'm excited to try it. Let's do it. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by VentureSurplus.com. This is a company that I was very excited to partner up with because they sell awesome military surplus gear just like this tactical assault pack that I've got here. So I believe this thing was only like 89 bucks on the website, which is kind of crazy because it's a giant eight mag rig with all these little Velcro straps and it's exactly what they issued in the military. It even has all the military tags on the inside. You can attach it directly to your body armor or wear it as a standalone rig with the harness that they provide. And this is just one example of the type of stuff they sell, both new and used military surplus gear. The shipping was on point as well. This thing arrived just a couple days after I ordered it. And I guarantee if you're anything like I am, you'll be like a kid in a candy store on this website. They have all kinds of really cool stuff. So check them out, venturesurplus.com and use the coupon code OneShotTV923 and you'll get 10% off your order. And thank you Venture Surplus for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, let's take the first shots with this thing. They say it reduces recoil by about 40%, I believe. So on a nine millimeter, that should feel significant. Let's see how it feels. <laughs> that feels so good. Whoa. Yeah, that definitely works. Well, that might be the best handgun comp I've ever tried in my life. You know what it reminds me of is a 5.7 pistol. Just enough recoil to know it's a full power cartridge, but nowhere near a regular nine millimeter. <laughs> that is sweet. Let's do another 10 rounds on a steel plate. I love this thing. I did not think it would feel that good. So I don't know how it's translating on camera. Those first two mags, I was shooting with kind of a relaxed grip, just focused on hitting the target. Now I'm really gonna try to clamp down and eliminate as much of that muzzle rise as I can. It literally has like no recoil. I could get used to this. So the biggest mistakes that people make with pistols is jerking the trigger and pulling the shot off target or anticipating the shot and flinching before the shot actually breaks. Nine millimeter doesn't have too much recoil, so it's not as much of a problem, but when you reduce it this much, it just makes it even easier to stay on target and not flinch anticipating the recoil. So let's see if we can hit some targets with it. <laughs> Little six inch steel target. <sighs> it's
It's definitely louder, like noticeably louder. Anytime you put a brake or a comp on a, a firearm, it's going to make it louder. Um, but that is really the only downside that I see, if you would even consider that a downside. Guns are already pretty dang loud, so it's not that big of a deal. But man, does this thing feel nice. Well, I found a defective spray paint can in the back of my truck, and we've got one round left in the magazine. Let's see if we can hit it. Was dramatic got a piece all the way back here so there's not much to say about this one it's pretty self-explanatory I'm sure there is some high-tech engineering that make these things so effective but this is the part responsible for the recoil reduction it's the Radian ramjet barrel and afterburner compensator. Again, the way this thing works is there are two ports on top and the bottom is completely blocked off. So as the round is fired, all the gases are redirected upward, which counteract the muzzle rise you get during recoil and reduces it by up to 44%, they say, which I believe after shooting this thing, it feels like it about cuts it in half. And aside from the slide moving back and forth, you don't really feel too much of anything. So very simple, but very effective. And it honestly feels like a different caliber. It uses one screw right there in the side to secure it in place. The only downside is you do have to unscrew that to take the gun apart. So in the case of a catastrophic malfunction or a parts breakage, which Glocks don't get very often, but it's always a possibility, you can't just field strip it in five seconds like you can with a regular Glock. You do have to unscrew that. Kind of a non-issue for me because I just don't see stoppages or parts breaking in Glocks often enough to think that I would have to field strip my gun in an emergency situation. Your opinion may vary. That's about it. It is a match grade barrel made from hardened steel and really well made. I think Radian just makes good products in general. Everything I've ever tried from them has been high quality. It is $389 for the combo. So. Definitely not cheap, but I think it's worth it. I would always prefer to pay a little more and get high quality, especially when it comes to firearms. And this is easily the most effective pistol comp I've ever used in my life. So if you value my opinion, I would say it's worth it. All right, guys, now what I wanna do is compare the Ramjet afterburner combo to a regular Glock 19 and see what the difference in muzzle rise looks like on camera. We'll put five rounds through each and we'll go ahead and start with the afterburner. and the regular Glock 19. Well, I haven't reviewed the footage yet, so let me know in the comments if you guys actually saw a difference. Trust me, it feels significant. After shooting the afterburner for several magazines and then going back to a regular Glock 19, it almost feels like a totally different caliber. All right, guys, that is all I got for you today on the Radian Ramjet Barrel and Afterburner Comp, or as I like to call it, the Glock 19 that has no recoil. Like I said, this has to be the most effective pistol comp I've ever tried. I don't have a ton of experience with them, probably tried three to five over the last few years, but this is definitely my favorite and, in my opinion, is worth all the hype that it's getting right now. So. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you guys. If you liked the video, please hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.